Every summer, the monsoon brings powerful thunderstorms to Arizona. The monsoon storms produce spectacular lightning strikes that can be seen for miles thanks to our wide-open desert vistas. Lightning frightens and fascinates us. It is a grand display of the force and mystery of nature. Scientists at the University of Arizona have played a leading role in research to better understand lightning, and they continue to collaborate with other scientists all over the world to advance our knowledge of this amazing natural phenomenon. There are many kinds of lightning. The two types of lightning most of us know are cloud-to-ground lightning and cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning. Cloud-to-ground lightning transfers electrical charge from the clouds to the ground. Cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning transfers electrical charge within and among the clouds, high above the ground. In simple terms, lightning in a thunderstorm occurs because positive and negative electrical charge, the basis for electrical energy, separates within the cloud. Negative charge builds up at a lower level in the cloud, and positive charge builds up near the top. The buildup of negative charge results in electrical force, also called voltage. The electrical force becomes so strong that an electrical breakdown occurs, resulting in lightning flashes. Lightning transfers the charge and returns the cloud to equilibrium. Scientists at the University of Arizona use amazing super-fast cameras the cameras collect thousands of images per second. All of those images produce incredible slow motion video that shows the lightning in fractions of a second so that scientists can study how it behaves. For example, we see the typical behavior of a negative cloud to ground flash. The lightning begins with an electrical breakdown in the cloud. The breakdown causes an electrical discharge that moves downwards and travels at hundreds of miles per second. Scientists call this a downward propagating leader. Just before the downward propagating leader reaches the ground, there are always a number of small upward leaders that rise to meet it. Normally, these upward leaders are too small and too fast for us to see with the naked eye. At least one upward leader ultimately connects to the downward propagating leader. When the upward and downward leaders meet, the charge from the cloud transfers to the ground and we see the flash of light that we know as lightning. The light is caused by heat. The sudden, super-fast transfer of charge from the cloud to the ground is called the return stroke. This return stroke produces temperatures exceeding 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit in a fraction of a second. That is hotter than any other natural phenomenon on Earth. The nearly instantaneous superheat causes the air near the lightning channel to expand incredibly fast and produces a shock wave in the air. We hear that shock wave as the crack and rumble of thunder. If a tall metal object sticks up from the ground, like a metal pole or antenna, it can initiate an upward leader well before the downward leader reaches the ground. This produces a much more visible upward leader like we see in this example of lightning striking a television transmitter tower. When the lightning finds a path to the ground, it forms a channel through the air, almost like water will find a channel through dirt that concentrates its flow. That channel remains a much easier path for additional return strokes that can transfer remaining charge from the cloud. Most lightning we see involves three or four return strokes, and sometimes more. That is why we see lightning strokes flicker or strobe, because more charge is being transferred to the ground following the same channel. In addition to the examples of negative lightning shown here, about 10% of cloud-to-ground lightning is positive charge lightning. The positive flashes we see here are generally more powerful so positive flashes bring a greater probability of starting fires and damaging electrical power lines. We still don't understand everything about lightning and scientists continue to study it. And no matter how much we know, the magic of lightning, the light and sound show of a thunderstorm, still thrills and fascinates us. Our monsoon storms in Tucson provide one of the best opportunities in the whole country to watch and study lightning. Just another example of why Tucson is a special place to live and to visit.